Hi everybody, it's Joanne from Joanne Ralston Art. It's playtime. We're gonna experiment today. I bought a good while back Master's Touch Ready Pour. I am gonna start with the, what was it called? Amethyst. And we're just gonna put a little puddle in the middle. Ah! I wanted a little puddle in the middle. Alright, we'll start with that, but I wanted it smaller. Then we're going to do the mauve. And please don't squirt like that. We're gonna do the lilac. I want a nice round puddle. And then we're gonna do the metallic silver. I didn't open it. Hold on. I shook it, but I didn't open it. There we go. the silver. Now let's see if this will cooperate. I'm going to squeeze gently. Better. The prism pours. Let me give you a word of advice while I'm thinking about it. I don't know why this just hit my head, but playing with the prism pours and with their pouring medium, it, they're, they're great, they're vibrant, they're beautiful colors. I love them, but do not torch them until you're totally done. Because if you torch in the middle to get those bubbles, you are going to have skins. I found that out with a painting. You are going to get skins. So when you're playing with prism pours, do not torch until you get to the end of the painting and then torch lightly. Oh, I haven't been turning enough and see what it's doing. I think we're just about there. I think I can stop actually. Let me get the rest of the colors. I don't know what. I want, and I'm going to top, top it off with just a touch of purple in the center. <sighs> this wobbly, I don't, I didn't want wobbly. I don't like the wobbly. All right, where's my stick? There it is. How am I gonna do this with that wobbly? First, let's try to get it in the center. I'm kind of trying to walk it slowly. I am gonna put a flow extender on there, just not yet. All right. Which way do I wanna go first? See bubbles. All right, 
let me get a paper towel for stick cleaning. Always want to clean your stick. All right, I'm going to start by coming out. Yeah, this is going to be pretty. Let's go one more, and then I'm going to switch directions. I'm gonna make them skinnier. I just feel the need. Still like the middle. All right, let me put a little bit of flow extender around so it doesn't roll over on itself. There we have it. Now let's spin. Don't get dizzy. If you do, close your eyes. <laughs> If this bothers you, close your eyes. Oh, look how pretty that's going off the sides. pushing the paint up back up against it because I don't want it to spin off and splatter me. I usually wipe it off, but there's not enough there yet to wipe. Oh, this is beautiful. Now we'll have to wait and see how well this paint dries. If it dries nicely, then I will recommend it. All right, this needs a little help. If you see a spot that's just not getting covered, take some of the spare paint. Doesn't matter if it doesn't match and cover that spot and then it will help the paint that's on the canvas to run over it. It'll give it encouragement because when it's dry, nothing on it, sometimes it, it, it won't go. It will stay there. Well, I thought I covered that. All right, let's give her another spin. Just so we make sure we got enough off and that the sides are good. I don't like what I'm seeing on the edges. I'm seeing that, what is it, fraculating? It's grainy looking on the sides. 
Now the question is, is that the Modern Masters or is that the Artist Loft? Because that was Artist Loft that I put on there. I think we've gotten enough off. Now, in the fraculating that I'm seeing, and I, I can't show it to you. I'm afraid to move the camera because every time I move it, I turn it off. But if it starts fraculating or getting that grainy look up here, then that means it's the modern masters. If it stays around the edges where the artist loft was, and this is the artist loft, very likely the two paints don't like each other. Because I don't have any problem with that when I'm using the artist loft for other paintings and bases and stuff. All right, guys. Please, tell me what you think down in the comments. Tell me hi, tell me you liked the video, tell me you hated it, whatever. Just make a comment. And please, please, please hit that thumbs up. If you don't do anything, hit that thumbs up. Share. And if you're new, please consider subscribing. I'm going to bring you down close. Let me see if I can do this. So you can see what I'm talking about. See if I get you in the right spot. It's the two paints don't like each other. See right here? Where it's separating and it looks grainy. That's what I mean by fraculating. But it's doing that all over the side with that white paint. So these two paints do not like each other. They don't work well together. Hello, hello, hello. Here we are for dry results. Ah. Uh. I love the colors and the design of this. I love it. It's beautiful. The only bad thing about it is, like I told you, that white paint with the master's touch, there's a chemical that they don't agree. They would not play well together. And you can see, see what it did. And it did it all the way around. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. But that's exactly, exactly what happened. It's just something it happens. Um, there's just something in the paint that doesn't agree with something in another paint. And they don't play well together. They separate. So I'll have to remember that. But it still turned out pretty. I think it's pretty cool. I think it is pretty cool. I love the design. I love the center. That silver is beautiful. What I may do is play with the sides and maybe paint them silver and just come up so far, put tape and come up so far and see what that looks like. And if I don't like it, I'll paint over it. That's the awesomeness of paint. So. Well, everybody,
Take care. Have a great day. Love ya. And please come back and see me. Bye-bye.